Here's how you import your media into Adobe Premiere Pro. Click the word Assembly at the top of the screen to open the Assembly workspace. Click on the Media Browser if it's not already visible. Now you can navigate to your media. If your clip names appear in a list like this, and you want to see what's inside the media, click the button at the bottom to switch to Thumbnail View. Slowly glide the mouse over the thumbnails to see what's inside each clip. Select the clips you want to use in your project and then click the Ingest option here at the top. Doing this will ensure that your media files will also be copied from their current location, such as a camera card, into your project folder. You don't have to do this, but if you don't click Ingest, Premiere Pro will only link to these media files, wherever they're currently stored. And if that happens to be a camera card or an external media drive, your media will go offline when you eject the card. Finally, Right-click to import the selected media files into your project. Switch to the Project panel. Anytime you're in the Project panel, you can resize the thumbnails or switch to List View. To import an image or video from Adobe Stock, open the Libraries panel. If you don't see it, select Window, Libraries to bring it into view. Search for a term in the search box. You can filter your search results as desired. When you find an asset you like, save a preview of it to your library. After the asset appears in your library, right-click it to license the asset or simply add a watermarked version to your project. Once the asset has been copied over, switch to the project panel. If you don't see it, Try clicking the double arrow to reveal it in the list. The asset will already be selected in the panel. Double-click it to open it in the Source panel, where you can play it.